Hi, it's me again with Corel Build Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this graphic and asked me how you could draw this in Corel. I did a little calculation. There's two, uh, five rings and they're basically 180 degrees of the circle. So what we're going to do, we'll move this out of the way, we'll draw five circles. And I'm going to work in the center of the page like I always do. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate while holding down the shift key, which will make it grow from the outside in. And then I can control D, control D, control D. I got five. They kind of got an angle here. So I'm going to take a, a line and just draw an angle and I'm going to hit P and I'm going to take the virtual segment delete key and delete this half of the circle. Now that the items are rotated, and I figured out they're about 10 degree rotation. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this first one and I'm going to, I just did a video earlier today about putting a circle in the center of your page and I'm going to double click and I'm going to move my center rotation to the center. And then I'm going to rotate this guy 50 degrees. I'm going to take the second one, move the center rotation to the center. A lot of times you'll get that with the shape tool. And I'm going to rotate it 40 degrees. So they're 10 degrees off. Move the center rotation to the center. Rotate it 30 degrees. I'm going to take the last one. Move the center rotation to the center. And rotate it 20 degrees. Now they're all 10 degrees apart. I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of my circle. I'm going to select them all and I'm going to go to the artistic media tool and I'm going to pick the one that has skinny lines on the ends. I don't want that one right there. There, I'm going to use that one right there. And then I'm going to click on it and I'm going to up the scale a little bit. And you see what it did. We can maybe go up a little bit thicker. So we're getting line. Now what I would always do is go up to object and break the 10 objects apart. There's only five. If we do this, if we left click, right click, you can, you can see the inner lines. So we need to delete the inner lines. So I'm going to get and delete. The inner line is our original line. And it could cause us problems. Now I'm going to take the, I'm going to try to match your colors. I'm going to take the first one and make it a blue. I'm going to take the second one and make it a green. Of course, they're not, I don't know what colors they're using. Uh, the second one is a, I'm going to make it a red. The fourth one is a light blue. And the fifth one is a yellow. Now I've got an outline around them. I want to take away the outline by right clicking. I'm a little bit off on my angle. So I'm going to group these together, control G. I'm going to go ahead and put my circle back in the center and I'm going to select these and then move the center rotation to the center of that. And then I'm going to rotate it kind of more like that. Now, the reason it looks really good, they might have used a little bit thicker lines than I did. And you could have changed that in your artistic media tool. But if you'll put a black background and go to object order, back a page, it makes it really stand out. The difference is mine is a vector now. And this one is a JPEG. It's kind of fuzzy. And like I said, I could have made the lines longer or thicker and if you needed those exact colors you could click on this break it apart ungroup it and you could get the eyedropper tool and you could get let me let me get that blue and put it might be a little hard to put it in there but i made it that same blue so you could do that with all the colors i actually think the brighter blue actually stands out better Anyway, I hope that answered their question. Thank you for watching.